Ja, herzlich willkommen zurück. Da hatte die letzte Folge ein unerwartetes Ende. Da hat es nämlich an der Tür geklingelt. Und ich glaube, wir suchen uns irgendein... Ich muss jetzt erstmal noch gucken, ob ich den Keeper da hinten jetzt hatte. Jawohl. Okay, den hatten wir auch. Ähm Chorus denn? Will ich zu Koras denn jetzt schon? Boah, ungern. Wards Access. Wards Access klingt gut. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Ja, also man... <lacht> ich habe so ein bisschen Frosch im Hals. Ich hoffe, dass es trotzdem geht. Ja, man hört hier in den Aufzügen immer mal wieder solche Nachrichten. Kann darüber auch ein paar Quests bekommen. Fist. Hallo Keeper. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Ja, die Hanar. Die sind schon so ein Fall für sich. Auch einer. This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. 
When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans. Ma'am. <laughs> you don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? Alright, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenko, but we're on duty here. Uh, aye, aye, ma'am. I'll walk drag, ma'am. Oh, das war, das war jetzt irgendwie süß. Ja, also das hier ist ein Wortarm, was man hier sieht, und das sind die vier anderen. Und die, die sind alle so riesig. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Do you know Tell a CSEC them. officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the Force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Ja. <coughs> Seasick. Und. A view of Nebula. Die Serpent Nebula ist das im Widow System. Äh, hier möchte ich mal kurz speichern. Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Chloe Michel. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Your doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. You're a doctor. I okay. I chose to keep the... Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. I thought that... Das... Here was passiert, but offenbar haben wir das noch nicht getriggert. Aber das ist okay. Commander Shepard? Ah. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. 
You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Emily Wong. Gute Frau. Aber wir gehen erstmal noch ins Flux. Drinks and dancing down below, gambling up above. Good place to blow off some steam. It's out of my hands, Rita. I'd bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to come. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Dorn before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. What can you tell me about the sisters working for you? Well, Jenna left to work at Cora's Den. Now her sister Rita is all worried she might be in some kind of trouble. Not much chance Jenna will change her mind, though. She's a stubborn one. If she wanted to come back, I'd take her in a second. The customers loved her. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some quasar stations. Uh, Goodbye. Enjoy your time yeah, here in Flux. Me. Doran ist auf jeden Fall ein sympathischer. Hier ist ein Keeper. Hier ist eine suspicious gambling machine. I think somebody rigged this machine to funnel credits through the system. Let me trace the signal. Ja, Quasar äh, werde ich sehr wahrscheinlich nicht spielen. Ich finde die Minispiele meistens eher uninteressant. <lacht> Mit 2 und 3 wurden sie dann auch eigentlich komplett rausgekürzt. Ne, wobei in 3 kommen sie in einem Citadel DLC wieder. Ja. Er hat übrigens dieselbe Stimme wie ähm, Garrus. Noch ein Keeper. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. 
I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, well, I'm sure he's fine. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Oh yeah. Genau, die Echoes Combine License, die gibt's hier. What? Boah, wir haben ja wirklich wenig Geld. Ich könnte vielleicht mal ein bisschen was verhökern. Really oh je. Your Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Konrad Werner. Ah, wir gehen erstmal zu C-Sec. natürlich Aufzug fahren. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Ich mag die Fahrstuhlmusik. Ähm, ja. Ich glaube, wir speichern erstmal noch kurz. Da ist er. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's Bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What'd he do? 
He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Quarian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Rex. Ja, ich meine, das... Inventar verrät es ja hier schon. Wir haben Earth Not Rex. Mein Lieblingscharakter in dem Spiel. Okay, Warp zu skillen, damit Overthrow haben wir halt ganz gut. Hier wollte ich halt einfach nur, damit ich die Shotguns halt schon mal habe. Okay. Ähm. Okay, Julie. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorb. He's... Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Tja. Ja, hier oben ist die Flugkontrolle, genau. Alles scannen. Bringt alles Erfahrung. Und wir können den Keeper scannen. Äh, Journal. Ach, du große Kacke. Scan the Keepers. 
Oh, uns fehlen ja nur noch zwei. Und ich weiß sogar welche. Sehr schön. Nice. Ich gucke hier immer, ob es irgendwelche äh, Computer zu hacken gibt. Ähm okay. Nice to see so many humans working for CSAC. Das war auch schon die Nummer 20. Sehr schön. Shotguns gehen wir mal. Assault Training. Ja, wir gehen mal aufs Assault Training. Ich versuche immer mit den. Äh, immer auf diese. diese unterschiedlichen Punkte zu kommen, wo halt wirklich was passiert. Ähm, Kaiden. Kaiden, Kaiden. Decryption wäre. Net Electronics wäre auch nicht Rex. Rex, Rex, Rex. Tja. Ach komm. Bro, können wir auch später noch freischalten. Wenn wahrscheinlich eh noch ein paar ähm, Updates bekommen. Ähm, Wards Location. Med Clinic. Jetzt kommen wir nämlich dahin, wo ich eben hin wollte. Das hatten wir nämlich noch nicht getriggert. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Ich wollte doch gar nicht mit dir reden. Ah, ja. äh. Okay, das lief irgendwie nur halb so gut wie erhofft. Okay, das lief gar nicht gut. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Oh, we will. Dann nehmen wir einmal beide Big Guys mit. Turin Agent. A sword rifle. Tactical Armor 
Und Decryption bis hier. Und dann haben wir immer noch eins. Und gehen wir auf Damping. Jawohl. Das sieht doch relativ gut aus. Also man hat hier halt wirklich... Äh, also äh, man wird es auch nicht... Es ist einfach auch unmöglich, also alles auszuleveln. Tja. Hoffentlich. Door Control. Äh, ich weiß, wie ich... Was? Ich weiß, ob ich zu Koras denn komme. Und er hat ja auch schon gespeichert. Mander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorben. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are. We're not buying it. Jalid told us you've been after it. You spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? No, but you're going to tell me everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander. If you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Yeah. Genau, hier geht's zu Chorus Den. Looks like it shut down. Hmm. Finally, look out! You wish. Ungut. Was haben wir hier?
I'm on it. Ja, beide Ausrufezeichen sind erst später wieder hier. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. Tschüssi. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Ja, dann merkt ihr das bitte. Garris. Für später. Was haben wir hier? Äh, könnt ihr auch mal kurz gucken. Rex bekommt natürlich die beste Sword Rifle. Okay, die Simit hat zwei. Jawoll. Rex bekommt auch eine bessere Shotgun. Garris braucht auf jeden Fall ein gutes Sniper. Ach, Medium Armaturing können wir noch gar nicht. Sabotage, Damping. Boah, ich bin gar nicht mehr gewöhnt, dass sie so reinbauen. Enemy is everywhere! Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Where's the Quarian? She's not here, I don't know where she is, that's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Uh. Sollte eigentlich zu machen sein, auch wenn uns hier draußen ein bisschen uh, Opposition entgegenstehen wird. glaube ich wirklich Barriere skillen. Oh. 
worry I'm lost. Not if I can help it. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Fist set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. So, jetzt haben wir erstmal alle zwei Mitglieder zusammen. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. 
The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Ja. Das Squad akzeptieren wir mal. Oh, Equipment. Jetzt sind zwei. Was haben wir denn hier an Munition? Ne, das ist okay. Talisora. Talisora. Eine gute Pistole wäre ganz angemessen. Die sieht gut aus. Und eine gute Schrottflinte. Ach komm, die Scimitar. Ja, ähm, Squad. Oh, oh, oh. Hm, tja, nun. Ach komm, wir müssen hier Throw und Warp mal skillen. Rex Combat Armor und Schrittgans und Tali. Oje, oje. Das sieht doch ganz gut aus. Council. Tja. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard. My name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I have requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Das ist völlig in Ordnung. Lieber Samesh. Und dann gucken wir mal, ob wir das hinbekommen. Normalerweise sollte das kein allzu großes Problem darstellen. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. 
Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Tja. Das hat ja ziemlich gut geklappt. Aber das ist normalerweise, wenn man dann... Ja, es sind so ein paar Quests, da können einem vielleicht ein paar ähm, Paragon-Punkte fehlen, aber ansonsten... Ähm, wie sieht es dann aus? Ja, Charm haben wir in der zweiten Folge haben wir auch immer schon, glaube ich, auch einfach durch die Paragon-Punkte dazu gewonnen. Hallo again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Ja. Äh. Uh, Damn. Äh, uh, hoch. Äh, uh, ach so. Gut, so kann ich ja jetzt auch gerade zu Fuß hinlaufen. Das ist, glaube ich, letztendlich fast schneller, als wenn ich das Rapid Transit System bemühe. Ja, so ein paar Quests bekommt man halt hier immer auf der Citadel. Ein paar bekommt man äh, auch dann, ergeben sich teilweise erst unterwegs. Und ja, wie man das halt von Bioware kennt, äh, sehr viel Dialog und sehr viel ist auch im Dialog zu klären. Äh, viele Gefechte kann man halt auch mit Dialogen verhindern. Das ist leider sowas, also Mass Effect 3 ist halt einfach größtenteils nur noch Shooter, da ist das... Das ist eigentlich kaum noch so. Aber hier ist das wenigstens der Fall. Ich hatte ja gesagt, ich will gar nicht so oft Aufzug fahren, aber egal, wenn sie es dann halt anbietet. Und ich mag Rex und die Krogana. Guter Punkt. Commander. Mit ihm können wir immer noch nicht interagieren. Hier wartet mal wieder Anderson auf uns. Come on. 
Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador. There is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned.
Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Jawoll. Jawollo, jawollo, jawollo. Gleich mal Warp hier geskillt, damit wir gegebenenfalls... Oh, hier auf die Shotgun, das ist doch super. Und hier, damit wir hier auf die Description zugehen. wondered if the Turians released the genophage on their own, or if the Council secretly encouraged them. 300 years ago, the Geth drove my people into exile. We asked the Council to wipe the synthetics out, but they ignored our pleas. Maybe if they'd listened, we wouldn't be here now. Ja, wer weiß es schon. I hope he's okay. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. It just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them... The Majesty'd be a sitting duck. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Mach ich. Ja, und ich würde sagen, damit geht's in der nächsten Folge weiter. Bis dahin.